2019 was the beginning of year two of the Armenian Revolution. It was a year marked by debate and struggle over the meaning and direction of post-revolutionary Armenia at almost all levels of Armenian society. Big policy changes marked the year at the legislative level, including a new 23% flat tax. Later in the year, the health ministry announced universal health insurance to be paid for with a 6% tax levied on everyone earning over 150,000 dram, that is $300 a month. The battle over the Amalsar mine continued. Following a critical environmental audit, Nicole Pashinyan gave a tepid green light to the controversial mine. But, Blockades manned by activists and local residents still stand. Pashinyan's much-touted anti-corruption campaign hit a number of snags this year. David Sanasarian, the head of the State Control Service, one of the country's main anti-corruption bodies, was fired and charged with abuse of power. The operations of the State Control Service were suspended. The head of the National Security Service and formerly one of Pashinyan's most powerful allies, Artur Vanitsyan was also forced to step down later in the year. Pashinyan allies have insinuated that Vanitsyan had ties to the former ruling Republican Party. Vanitsyan harshly criticized Pashinyan upon his exit, calling his resignation a sobering call to stop. Shortly after his resignation, Vanitsyan was photographed palling around with Chechnya head Ramzan Kadyrov. The year's biggest development has been Armenia's growing culture war. From a satanic panic about a death metal concert to anger about modernist dances and the funding of a documentary about a transgender weightlifter to reforms of the education system, the new government has come under fire from self-styled defenders of national values. The culture war has been stoked in part by new far-right groups who, standing shoulder to shoulder with stalwarts of Armenia's pre-revolution government, have spread homophobic and transphobic conspiracy theories that, in classic far-right fashion, have often centered George Soros as a secret, nefarious puppet master. Pashinyan's struggle to rid the courts of Republican Party influence reached fever pitch. Following a failed bid by Parliament to remove constitutional court chair Krayertov Masyan, two criminal cases were opened, alleging that the former Republican Party MP had engaged in corruption and usurpation of power. While some supporters of the new government have seen the campaign against Tovmasyan as long overdue, critics are afraid it will lead to the repoliticization of the court. 2019 also saw the beginning of Armenia's trial of the century, as ex-president Robert Kocharyan was forced to defend himself against a charge of overthrowing the constitutional order for his alleged role in the violent government crackdown in 2008, which left 10 people dead. Despite the turmoil, end-of-year polling has shown that Pashinyan's government still enjoys the support of the majority of the Armenian population.